Hey everybody, let's read some of the United States Department of Justice Law Enforcement Code, Title 18 U.S.C. Section 242. Law enforcement may not arrest, threaten, or intimidate citizens exercising their right to peacefully assembly. Summary of the United States Code, Title 18, Section 242. You can read it. Makes it a crime. For a law enforcement officer acting under the order of any law. Basically, it's illegal. And the offense is punishable by range of imprisonment up to life term or the death penalty depending upon the circumstances of the crime. Yeah, yeah, I can read that. Oh no, the kids are home. No, run away. Run away, the kids are home. Oh no, the kids are home. Run away. Summary says. Makes it a crime for law enforcement officers acting under color. I mean, law to willfully private person. Have a right or privilege protected by the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution specifically names the right to peacefully assemble as a right given to all citizens and protected by the Constitution. Persons acting under color of law or fan, the meaning of the statute include police officers, persons, guard, prison guards, other law enforcement officials, as well as judges, care providers, and public health facilities, and those who are acting as public officials. Want more information? Go to www.justice.gov or CLT. Reference and rights under color of law. The 18 U.S.C. Who got it before? I'm going to get Yum, apples. Apples. I'm going to read this to you. It says, Title 18 U.S.C. Section 242. Whoever under color of any law, statute, ordinance, regulation, or custom willfully subjects any person in any state, territory, commonwealth, possession, or district to the de deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunities secured or protected by the Constitution or laws of the United States shall be fined under the title or imprisoned not more than one year or both and if Bodily injury result from the acts committed in violation of this section, or if such acts include the use, attempted use, or threatened use of a dangerous weapons, explosives, or fire, shall be fined under this title or imprisoned, not more than 10 years or both. And if death results from the acts committed in violation of this section, or if such acts include kidnappings, uh, Kidnappings would be unlawful arrest, or an attempt to kidnap, aggravated sexual abuse, or an attempt to commit aggravated sexual abuse, or an attempt to kill, shall be fined under the stable or imprisoned for any term of years, or for life, or both, or maybe sentenced to death. So police officers... The law is not on the side. This is the official law of the United States Department of Justice. The Constitution overrides the Constitution's supreme law of love, 
land and overrides any state police, federal police, or local police. Remember, God's good all the time. All the time, God's good. Jesus loves you. Jesus God. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and keep on gaming. Keep on clicking. I can't help on obeying the Constitution and don't let any police officers violate your constitutional rights. Because if they do, you can arrest them as a citizen, committing a citizen's arrest. Under Title 18 U.S.C. Section 242. Later.